what's happening guys welcome back to another garden warfare 2 video and in today's video we're going to be finding out what is inside those lovely chests so if you don't want to find out what is in those lovely chests uh, although a lot of people have either got them or the information is uh, more than readily available uh, but if you don't want to watch you don't want it to uh, to be spoiled for yourself and I would advise uh, not watching this video right now because uh, we're going to be opening the chests okay so I've been working hard on the dinos uh, <laughs> dinos versus cats or cats versus dinos getting these stars so I could get these done before the portal shut uh, so I've just got one to open on each side so I'm hoping I can do this in the same video uh, I'm not sure so we'll go off with this side first here we go and there we go we have the hover goat 3000 it's the new character unlocked I thought it was going to pop out like it was in the trailer I wasn't quite expecting it to be a little stickery thing. Okay, so let's see what's on the opposite side. And it is, of course, the Torchwood. And there we go. So we have the Trial of Gnomus is now complete. Um, obviously, the portals are going to carry on because people still haven't got all four. Uh, let me know if you've managed to get all four and do all the trials and get to this point as well. It would be interesting to know. Um... But what I'm going to do now is head back to the backyard and have a little look at these characters. Okay, so we're back here and we're back in the backyard uh, <laughs> battle backyard battleground. Uh, so we're gonna have a look at uh, the Torchwood first. Um, so yeah, they're gonna continue obviously to do the portals. People haven't got all the keys. Plus, there is a lot of customizations to be got as well. So they're gonna be need to be done uh, regardless. That peach shoot is very red. So there we go. Here he is. It's Mr. Torchwood. He has only um, he only has one variant at the moment there may be new variants in the future we're not too sure uh, but let's go and check out his abilities so you can't change his appearance you can do character upgrades uh, which as you can see are all hidden at the moment uh, and let's check his abilities so we've got a blazing blast his blast of fire from torchwood's mouth is a surefire way to take care of zombies that are in his path we have Smouldering Madness, Unleashed Torchwood's pent-up rage allowing him to run faster, shoot unlimited wood chips and deal furious fire damage. And we have Leaf Shield, uh, Torchwood takes reduced damage for as long as he's surrounded by his protective leaves. Uh, be careful though, he moves a lot slower. So let's have a little go with him in the backyard. Um, 275 health is quite a lot, I think this, I've, I've played against a few of these. This, this is unlimited. Let's see what the cooldown is like. So we're still firing. Mm, that's not too bad. Okay, so it's not quite a lengthy amount of shots. Before it uh, it loses its uh, shooty goodness. That looks like it would kill with one shot. If you hit a cluster. It's not the greatest uh, area to test this out though. Right, so we've done about the smouldering madness. Look how fast he moves when he's in this mode. This is absolutely crazy. Rawr. <laughs> and finally we've got the leaf shield. Does that do damage? No, it doesn't do damage, but it does protect. So there we go. There is Torchwood. Let me know in the comment section what you think of this character. Whether you think he's overpowered or not. I think he is slightly overpowered. I mean, 275 health and all this firepower, which is like 7, 9 on a crit. It's crazy. And then you've got obviously his upgrades as well. Like, don't get me wrong, it's like the equivalent of a mech. So I suppose you could use this to fight against the mechs. 
maybe perhaps, but then that kind of that's what the Citroen was there to do. But anyway, let's stop getting attacked. Let's get away from that toilet. Thank you. So there we go, I'm gonna warp home. Go super fast. Do -do 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 Let's go and check out Hover Goat 3000. Not gonna let me do that. Can I get out of it? Yes, I can. There's the imp from the previous trial I did. Right, let's go and see a Mr. Hover Goat 3000. Okay, so that's what he looks like. <laughs> it's like a goat on a Back to the Future hoverboard. Wow. <sighs> that's cool. Uh, so we've got the damage buff a booster beam. Uh, thanks to the future technology, we don't quite understand this beam. Beam can help an ally deal more damage. M awesome mega, no, mega awesome laser. This focus beam of light energy from the future can zap plants super fast. Side effects may include slower motion, slower movement, and extra coolness. And we have tubular turbo. Hovergoat 3000 is fancy hoverboard. Uh, can release a blast of turbo particles that make the allies run faster if they're close to him when the blast is activated. So let's go and check out uh, this guy. So he has 125 health. Does he have a standard fire? Yes. Oh, and we got an achievement as well. Oh, there it is. That's the more secrets. New faces from crazy places. Uh, again, we're talking about... 7 and 9 on the uh, standard and crit. Um, this is in the backyard, so it's slightly different. It might be a bit more or less or higher uh, when you go into real multiplayer. Uh, I don't know if we can help out. We can help this guy out. So there we go, that gives him that guy more damage. Uh, that's, that beam seems that it can be used at any point in time as well, a bit like the scientist. Uh, let's go check this one out. Oh, so it goes into B mode. Is that what it does? I'm not quite sure what that one did. It seemed to go like, um, oh, what is it now? When you're in infinity time, uh, when you're using the cats or the dinos. That's what it reminded me of. Uh, let's go see the particles. Should speed up. Speeds up the, uh, speeds up the respawnable zombies as well. Look how fast we're going with this though. Wow, that's pretty cool. Hmm, interesting. I think the Torchwood is definitely more uh, powerful, but then again we've got another support car class for um, for the zombies, so it's pretty cool. Let me know what you think about the Hovergoat 3000 in the comment section as well. So that's the end of the video for today. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching this, and like I say, if you have got it, then it hasn't spoiled anything for you, uh, so that's good. Um, I say hopefully you can all get your keys now and you can get these characters as well. Uh, so yeah, this if this video don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you all later. Take care.